Hello everyone! Kumusta? My name is Che. Mabuhay from the Philippines and welcome to my channel. I want to share with you today these two orchids. I will show you how I unmounted them and planted them in these plastic pots. These two orchids were mounted on wood and I unmounted them separately. This one is my Denrobium Nestor and I have a video where I showed you that I placed her in this plastic pot without removing the mount and then I decided to remove the wood and I will show you how I did that. And this is my Denrobium Griffithianum. I hope I pronounced that right. This is a new orchid and I have a video when I unbox this and I will include the link in the description in case you haven't watched that yet. I unmounted her last September 7 and I will also show you how I did that. And later, I will show you close up of these two to see how they are doing and I will also include a timestamp in the description. Hello everyone! Today, I decided to remove the wood. After less than a month that I placed the orchid here in the plastic pot, I think it is easier to remove the mount now than later. She is still wet because it rained, so I'll just take her out from the pot. And I broke a root. The roots have grown longer, so I'll just take this first. And now, using this knife, I will carefully remove the roots from the wood. I am sticking the knife to the wood so that I avoid cutting the root. I'll just untie this wire first. I will continue separating the roots from the wood. I have separated the roots here so I can now pull this out but the roots here are still attached so I'll just remove this.
I will now pull her out from the wood. But I have to remove the wire first. And she is out. I thought that it would be very hard to separate the roots from the wood. Thankfully, that was not hard at all. So, this is the wood. And here's the roots. Thankfully, I did not damage much. Here's my Denrobium Nestor. I have unmounted her from the wood and now I will just clean the roots and then I will place her back to the plastic pot. I will plant her back to this plastic pot and I will just position her like this. I will not bury the other cane and I will still use the lava rocks and hydroton that I used before and then I'll just add more. I am done and I hope that this orchid will like its new setup. I hope that the roots will not die and will just continue to grow and hopefully will flower next year or this year. And this is now my Denrobium Nestor after more than a month. 
and no leaf had turned brown after I unmounted and planted her back in the plastic pot. But I think that she is done growing and hopefully will flower soon. Today I'm going to unmount my new orchid and she's already soaking in a water. As much as possible, I want my orchids to be potted but I also have other orchids which are mounted and I have separate videos about them. You can check them in my other videos. I will also water her from the top because she is not fully soaked. I will now remove the orchid from the mount and I have done this before with my Denrobium Nestor and I hope that this time it will be as easy as before. I will start by removing this or untying the wires. The wood is hard and I am going to use this knife to remove the roots or to separate the roots from the wood. But I will just use my hand if I don't need the knife. I think I need to remove these wires first. It's easier to cut the wire with my pruner than with a plier. <laughs> I think I have separated most of the roots and I'll see if I can already pull her out. I place my hand here in between the roots and the wood and I will push the orchid out. I broke some roots but it was easy removing this orchid from the mound. I will now clean the roots and I will also apply or spray hydrogen peroxide to the roots. This is a coconut husk. I 
I am now ready to plant her in the pot. But let's check this orchid first. She has a new growth here. This is how the bulbs look like or the canes. And here's the roots. This does not look very healthy but I hope that it will grow well. So I will plant her in this plastic pot and I will use lava rocks and hydroton. I will also place a mosquito net at the bottom of the pot so that the roots won't escape or grow below the pot and I learned this from Fernanda's YouTube channel from one of her videos and I will also include a link of her channel in the description so that you can check how she grow her orchids. So how am I going to position this? It grew upwards. So I think I'll just place all of the roots inside the pot but I'll position her as if she's lying in a bed but in a pot. So this is how I'll place her and I hope that the new growths will grow straight upwards and not sidewards. <laughs> I will place a wire or a clip on her so that she won't move. This will s serve as her stake. I will also cut the brown tips of the leaves. And she is done. I hope that the new growth will continue to grow and I hope that she will be healthier. But if you have some suggestions or advice, you can add them in the comments below. I will really appreciate it. This is now my Denrobium griffithianum after 9 days and also no leaf had turned brown after I unmounted and planted this in a plastic pot and I did not water her for one week after I did that. The same with Denrobium nestor. After I unmounted them and planted them, I did not water them for one week and placed them indoors in a bright area. And after one week, I watered them thoroughly and placed them outside with my other orchids. I don't see new root growing in this orchid and I hope that the old roots are still okay. But that tiny little growth before is now growing and I hope that this is a good sign that the orchid is okay. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.